Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to be learning about a new directive called ng directive, ng include, sorry, and also how to create our very own custom directives. Now consider the following code snippet. Let's create a div tag, and within the div tag, let's say we have a paragraph tag that says, my name is Joe Mon, and I like to learn. Now suppose we have this exact piece of code, these two lines that need to be used in 10 other web pages in your website. Now one way to do it is just copy paste in all the 10 pages, but that will lead to duplication of code. A better way to do it is to use a directive called ng include. To do that, what we had we will be doing is cut the two lines of code and create a new file and paste it and save this file as, as let's say user info dot html now we go back to index dot html and in the div tag just include ng include is equal to within double quotes you have to have single quotes again and then within the single quotes mention user info dot html now go ahead and save this save your user info dot html when you go to your browser and load it well, we don't have the changes yet well you can't well if if you go to if you press f12 and see a console it says xml http request cannot load now I'm not going to dive into what the error is all about, but how to work around this error. Open a new tab, type web server for Chrome. And just click on the first one. So you get this 200 OK web server for Chrome app. I've already downloaded it. Just I'm going to go ahead and launch it and I'm going to include the folder that I have the index.html in, so which is the AngularJS folder that we've been working with. Click on the URL that it provides. Now, if you load the page from a server, we have, my name is Jotmon, I like to learn. So this is a better way to avoid duplication in your code by using the ng-include directive. Now, a better way than this is to create your own custom directive. Let's see how. Now, we're going to have this user info.html as it is, but in our app.js, we're going to create a directive. For that, type app.directive. Now, the first parameter is the name of the, the name of the directive. So let's say user info information. Let's say user information. And the second one is a function, an anonymous function. Now, the anonymous function returns an object. So return an object, and it returns. So the first thing we have to specify is restrict. A restrict specify if we are creating a directive as an HTML element or as an attribute for an HTML element. So let's say we're creating an HTML element. We're going to have E and we're also going to specify a template URL. Now this is this tells where it needs to pick up the HTML file from. So the template URL is user info dot HTML. I put a semicolon, semicolon, go ahead and save this. Now index.html replace this div tag with user information and again close it user information when you go ahead and save it save your app.js go back to your server reload it and you still have my name is Jotmon I like to learn so that's how you create a new HTML element 
for example we have created a user information which is actually a directive now if we want to include a directive as an attribute just change this to a which stands for attribute go back to your index.html and use it as an attribute so div user information and div so save it let me go back and save app.js reload it we still have my name is Jotmon I like to learn now why would we want to use our own custom directives because that helps us to express our HTML in a more understandable way for example we can have hundreds of lines of code that use a template as an HTML and we can just replace the entire hundred lines by a single directive and that is going to be more informative to anyone who can read the code and who has not used your application so anyway that's about ng include and how to create your own custom directive either as an HTML element or as an attribute thank you for watching don't forget to hit subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video